Well, I've started some more onion butts. And I need some place to set them down. And they've rooted up nicely. So those should take off like the other ones have. But this one only has, well, there's one growing up. This one just does not want to grow. I put out roots. And I'll stick this one in the ground. I don't think it's going to do anything. But the other two will do quite nicely, I'm sure. Give them all enough room. And I just want to bury the roots. Yep, that's definitely got one coming out the side. That one's coming up, that one's coming up, that one's coming Yeah, they have a nice crop of onions. Water them so those little roots stay moist until they can actually get into the soil. The nasturtiums are coming up quite nicely. Yay, more nasturtiums. Oh, and I see tomatoes. <laughs> Since none of these beets came up, I'm going to really overseed where I initially planted them. After I weed a little, well, that should be enough for this time. If anything's going to come up, should get a few. I'm not going to waste my seed starter on them since they're not that good. Ah, letting the girls into the fig cage. Pick out a few little bugs. A few little tasties. Oh, finally. Got a female coyote. Can't get much smaller than that, but the males aren't open. Well, we'll see if we get anything. It's the only one I see. Well, I'm going to transplant some of these clusters of beets. I've done it before with success. Whoops! I've done it before with success, so Let's see what we can do with these. I dig a trench. Then I water the trench, even though it looks like it's wet. Water it very well. Soak the beets so I don't damage the roots anymore. And straighten the sides on the trench so the roots will go straight down. Take out my little beet plants one at a time. Holding them by the sleeve. Holding them by the leaves because you don't want to space them enough so they're not mashed up against each other. I just fill them in now. That side first. And this side to straighten them out. And then water them. So we'll see how the transplanted beets do. Well, since these beet seeds aren't very viable, I'm just going to dump them in here. If they come up, they come up. Hopefully I'll realize that they're not a weed. And maybe I'll get a few beets over here. That's in with the leaf cutter bees. They're now attacking this one, which is fine. Don't see any peppers yet. They're trying.
but no peppers. That's okay. Just work the beet seeds in. And if they come up, they come up. Yay, it'll be a bonus. Ooh, there's another one. I'm single-handedly trying to repopulate Populate? The monarch butterfly population. All by myself. Well, it looks like the ginger's done for. The base even smells like ginger. But the flower's all done. Yeah, flower's all done. Now, I don't know what I planted in here. It almost looks like strawberry leaves. Who knows? The way it's rearranged. The way it's arranged, it looks like I dumped a package of some seeds in here of some sort. Oh no, I knew I was smelling you. There you are. My little stinky winky. Tails down, that's the main thing. We don't want an up, an uppy tail. No, no, uppy, no uppy tails, please. <laughs> 